Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly educational webinar. Thanks for attending this webinar and to start trading with one Roy. A quick disclaimer, the information provided in this webinar is for educational purposes. Please do not take them as a financial advice. Do your own research before start trading. <clears throat> so, as always, we have those uh, currencies and other assets that we will cover, Euro USD, Yen, Pound, Aussie, the Gold, UK Brent Oil, US 500, and finally we have BTC USD. So let's jump to MT4 and start our analysis with Euro USD. Euro USD starting on a higher time frame <clears throat> It was in a downtrend until the market found some support around this area here, which is 1, 1.00. Okay, so here we have a reversal, and this is obvious by the bullish engulfing pattern. This one, you can see the bullish bar engulfing the bearish one. The market moved to the upside, and we have a good positive momentum. On the lower time frame, we have a breakout of this bearish trend line, the blue one. Okay, so we have a breakout, big bullish bar on the breakout, which is a good indication. So if today this current bar on the daily time frame close above the 1.01, .01, which is this resistance, there is a high chance to see the EURUSD testing the 1.04 by end of this week. Next, GBPUSD. GBPUSD <clears throat> on the higher time frame has similar uh, way of uh, like similar movement as the EURUSD, downward movement and then a reversal. Um, the market now is testing the 1.19, you can see, so we were in downtrend, higher lows, higher, uh, lower, sorry, lower lows and lower highs. The market is above the 1.19 now if we can see it clearly on the four hour time frame you can see now we have higher highs higher highs this is let's say high higher high low <clears throat> higher low so we have a shift in direction so most probably uh, the market will continue the move to the upside to test the 21 1.21 um, key resistance level okay better to wait for a confirmation which is the current daily bar if it closes above the 1.19 so we have a new rally till 1.21 USD JPY USD JPY still moving to the upside okay nothing looks um, nothing looks like that the market will reverse okay you can see that the market is in a clear upward movement it is respecting this bullish trend line we have higher lows and higher highs okay higher lows and higher highs here the market posted a slight a deep correction i can say on the four hour time frame one second okay so we have a correction here which coincide uh, this correction is to the area of confluence which is made by the support 137 and the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement okay so we have this correction here let me check if there is an equal correction to this one in the uptrend okay so you can see that we have one equal to this correction so most probably this is the end of this correction we we should see uh, a rally from this point all the way up until the 140 mark okay so I am bullish this is a correction end of it and then we might see a rally all the way up until the 140 level Australian US dollar Australian US dollar also acted similar to 
GBP USD, Euro USD, since all of them has the USD as a quote currency, the market moved to the upside. We have a strong resistance here, but it seems the Australian USD didn't care much and it break it to the upside with a big bullish bar. We have a break of structure here. Uh, the bearish trend line is broken to the upside with a and sorry it was a breakout around the 0 0.66 with a big bullish budded bar which is a good indication so most probably the OC will continue its move also to the upside to reach 0 0.70 USD CAD USD CAD <clears throat> um, on the higher time frame it's more like inside a range here between the 130 as a resistance and 128 as a support level okay so the market is bouncing between those boundaries however on the lower time frame we can see that we are in an aggressive uh, downward movement we have a breakout of this trend line here we have lower lows lower highs okay this is a low, lower low, high, lower high. So most probably the market will test the 28 as a short term analysis. As a higher term, um, yeah, like long term, sorry, um, analysis, uh, I can see the USD CAD. If it continue its downward movement and it close below the 28, 128 mark, we can see the USD CAD reaching this area, 125. Okay, you can see why, because we have one button, two button, three button, and four buttons. So this makes a strong support. So USD could uh, move to the downside if we see on the daily time frame it closed below the 128. <clears throat> Regarding the gold, the gold still moving to the downside it's better first to look at the higher time frame to see the direction so obviously the gold is moving to the downside lower highs lower lows here we have seen a dodgy uh, wick uh, sorry dodgy candle with a long wick to the downside this shows that the sellers took control of the market once it tested the, the 1720 and um, push the price to close the bar uh, near its low. On the lower time frame, the market is posting a correction to the 50 Fibonacci retracement level. So how did I plot this retracement level? I used the higher, the swing high here and this low of the impulsive wave. So this here is the impulsive wave. I used the high and low and then I saw that there is a 50 Fibonacci retracement expected. We have a sell pressure as you can see. So most probably I can say for the gold will continue its move to the downside to test the 1682 mark. 1682 because we have a strong support here based on this long wick here as you can see. Okay, Brent, <coughs> sorry, Brent UK oil. The Brent UK oil is showing some trends on the daily time frame. We can see we have a big bodied bullish bar here. You can see it. We have a hammer even, so the market is trying to reverse and move to the upside. So we have a move to the upside, but that doesn't mean there is a reversal on the daily time frame. We're still in a downtrend, higher lows, lower uh, lower highs and lower lows. So most probably what I see for the Brent UK oil is a test of this area. This is an area of confluence made of this bearish trend line, the blue line and the red resistance line which is one, 105 so the market is 
heading toward this area to test it. Once we have a breakout and a close above it on the daily time frame, then we can see the UK event all moving all the way up until 112 mark. So for me, I'm more bullish than bearish. Also, we have a double bottom here. So, but it's better to wait until we see a breakout and a close above the 105 to consider a long position for the UK brand oil. The least likely scenario is to see a correction. Like this is a correction here that has same length as this correction. Okay. And this is uh, something that occurs um, always in the market or in trends you will face a lot of correction that has same lens. Okay, so most probably the market will go test this area here and then it tumble all the way down back to the 95 mark. Okay, but in this case here, I'm more bullish because I can see big body bar here, which shows the buyers are in control. Also, if we look at uh, the lows are getting closer so from this low to this low the market was took time to pause this however from this low to this low the next one from this low to the next one it's much shorter than this one so this is an indication that the downtrend is getting weaker and there, there will be a potential of a reversal and move to the upside US 500. US 500 is traded inside um, a range made of a support and resistance with the following values, 3,700 uh, 3, mark and 3,900 level. Okay, so these are, well, so this is the price of US 500 moving between those boundaries. So for now, I will not consider, um, let's say, buying this asset since we are about to test this area. So we will see a lot of fake breakouts here. I will prefer to see a close above the 3,915. And then maybe we could see the US 500 testing this area here, the 4,011, like this. 4,100 if you would like. Okay, so we have a double bottom. So this is one bottom. Also, this is another one. So the market is trying to reverse, but I will not buy now. I will wait for a breakout and a close above it. If this occurs, then most probably the market will reach the 4,100 mark. BTC USD. BTC USD um trying is trying to move to the upside with a good momentum as you can see here we have this area it's like kind of a range as well okay so we have a, a range here kind of a range if we use this indicator <clears throat> so the market is trying to move to the upside but doesn't mean we have a reversal. We're still in a downtrend, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower lows. So once we break this high here, then we might see the BTC USD rallying until this area, which is 20, which is 25,000 mark. However, to see uh, a stronger move to the upside, I prefer to see the Bitcoin moving beyond the 25, 375 mark and closing above it then if we see this scenario the market will reach the 29k level for now we have this strong area which is the higher end of this range and then if we have a breakout we will see it around 25,000 mark um, if I need to trade this I will wait for a breakout above the 25,000 because from here till here you will not make much money if you want to trade this. Better to see the market posting new highs, new lows, then we will be uh, more sure that 
the market is, is about to reverse and if we see a breakout and a close on the daily time frame above the 25k then we will see the market reaching the 29k by next week so um, yeah this is it for our today's webinar thanks for watching and we will see you next Thursday for a new educational webinar. Have a lovely day and bye-bye.